Live, local, late breaking. You're watching Heartland News. There is a growing national effort tonight to keep teenage offenders out of adult prisons, and a Jackson mom is helping lead the charge. Tracy McClard's son, Jonathan, was charged and convicted as an adult in the July 2000 shooting of another teenager. McClard received a 30-year sentence. Well, just three days after he turned 17 and just days before he was transferred to a maximum security adult prison, Jonathan took his own life. Jonathan's mom, Tracy McClard, joins me now here in the studio. Tracy, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. You are getting involved in a group um, uh, called the Campaign for Youth Justice, actually as a spokeswoman for the group. Why did you decide to do that? Because contrary to popular belief, trying sentencing and incarcerating youth with adults is not working. There's overwhelming evidence that I have found over the past several months that it's not working. And this uh, campaign has used a lot of the federal studies, a lot of the governmental studies from the CDC, from the MacArthur Foundation, that to me proves that they are valid um, and they are heading a wonderful effort. Mm -hmm. We're taking a nice look at your uh, picture of your son here oh, that you provided yeah. for us as we're talking. Let's talk about, you told me on the phone there were three main reasons why your group feels so strongly that that teen offenders even convicted of an adult crime should not be housed in adult facilities so let's go through each one of them and the first point you said is that youths often become targets in adult prisons. yes they do um, they are usually assaulted either sexually or physically within the first 48 hours they are 36 times more likely to commit suicide uh, that happens within the first 72 hours which is what happened to my son wow. and, he, um, and he was he involved in a fight did you tell me that he was involved in a fight in the county jail not the prison um, but still with with older inmates of the, it was one, another one his age yeah. they were they were together um, let's go down okay. to the next point that you had brought up and that is that uh, studies have found that teens are more likely to reoffend after they have spent time and then are released from an adult prison yes. because when they are put into adult prisons the education is sparse uh, they have no counseling they have no mental health they have no training, no re-entry training. So when they are released, they are 34% more likely to re-offend in a more violent way than when they went in because they have learned how to defend themselves through fighting. Mm -hmm. Through they, they grow up learning how to be criminals. Mm -hmm. And they re-enter society worse off than they wow. entered the prison system in the first place. And as we wrap this up, the third point is that you're saying it actually costs more to keep them yes. locked up than it would be to rehabilitate them in a juvenile facility. So, and that's something about, you know, the victim side of it, if, if they are locked up, there is no way for them to pay restitution to the victim. Instead, the victim's taxpayer money is going to keep them there, and of course, like we said, when they re-enter society, they are more likely to re-offend. Well, Tracy McClard, thank you so much for joining us, and good luck in your efforts. Thank you. And if you would like to know more about the Campaign for Youth Justice, you can find a link to their website on our website at kfes12.com. Well, now as we head to break, let's take a live look outside.